Oh, oh. Uh, I feel bad that Buck isn't here for this one. Number 91 is Logan. I think uh, you can start. Uh, I'll, I'll follow you and then Buck will be the last. I think it should be lower on the list. It should. I, uh, I have mixed feelings. I don't know if it should stay. But you know what? I'm going to say it'll stay on the list. And mm-hmm. I'll keep it in the. Uh, it needs to be ahead of Scott Pilgrim. So you know what? I'm going to. But definitely behind um, the the professional. So I'm going to say behind the professional, mm-hmm. definitely, but ahead of Scott Pilgrim. Um, I should actually be writing some of this down because that's actually interesting. Um, but definitely um, way, way away from Groundhog's Day. So I'm going to say, ah, but then Reservoir Dogs. Is it better than Reservoir Dogs? It's not. Yeah, no, it's not. See, here's the problem with this movie. Mm-hmm. It is a brilliant, brilliant, hard-hitting emotional movie with a sluggish middle. It's got a fat belly. Right, right. You know what I mean? In that middle section. And I feel like it's unfair to compare it with movies that don't have a fat belly. The Professional doesn't have a fat belly. Scott Pilgrim doesn't have a fat belly. The Reservoir Dogs doesn't have a fat belly. Do you know what I mean? They, does, right. they don't have slow middles. Mm. Do you agree? I look, I don't want to lie to you. There are certain um X-Men films where I would watch in one viewing and I would enjoy mm-hmm. each and every moment of it. This was one yeah. of them. Okay. And when I saw this, funny enough, way before Deadpool, uh, this Deadpool 3 came out, for, for me to watch it and enjoy it, I had to make it make sense in my head. And I told myself, this is an Else Worlds film. Mm-hmm. This is not the same Wolverine that we saw the entire time in this entire movies, because there's no way. You can fix a world in Days of Future Past, then come kill all the other X Men in the next film. It makes totally no sense. I'm, okay, yeah, no, that I'm yeah, that me. is true. That's illogical. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what I was like. Okay, this is a movie that it's just another Logan from yes. another universe. Yes. But with the same actors. That's that's how I saw yeah, it. Yeah, no, hundred percent. That's kind mm-hmm. of how I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, I like the middle, man. The fact that they go and meet this family and uh, you get these great scenes on the table. Uh, and now he meets his younger self who has come to kill him. It's great. I didn't like the other scenes with, what's that guy, the bald guy? Uh, um, I forgot his name. I know what you're talking about, yes. Yeah, some of those scenes were not that great. And it's not his fault. I mean, there are great moments with him, but it's just like, I think I see where you're saying. But that's the first act. But no, I hear you. Okay, so you didn't like the first act. There were parts of the first act that you didn't like. Let's put it like that. Yeah. So I think second and third for me are brilliant. And for me, this is the best Patrick Stewart uh, performance. Performance. Um, definitely. Yeah. And this the stuff that they say is so impactful and yeah. so... Like, it's so hard-hitting, like, oh, my God, when Patrick Stewart, when, when his character dies, dude, like, the, oh, that yep. was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, there's a, dude, for me, one of my most memorable scenes, funny enough, it's a weirder scene, but I'll say it anyway, where he wants to help him in the in the toilet, and he's like, I can do it myself! <laughs> so you see, like, this stubborn old man oh, yeah. but who yes. doesn't want help, and this, this your son is trying to help you, and you're like, no, I can do it myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, I, uh, get, I definitely get that. That is and a those headaches, movie. the impact of those headaches that he gets, or whatever you call those, those episodes that Charles yeah, has. Yeah, I understand. So, They're going yeah. for some great old man vibes, and I love it so much. Yeah, man. Um, I agree one. with what you said. Um, it's not better than Reservoir Dogs, mm-hmm. but it's better than Scott Pilgrim. Yes. But I don't think it's better than Leon the Professional. So it does deserve to be on this list. But I don't think it deserves to be 91. And I don't think it's placed on the... Like, basically, it's not placed on the right spot. Let yeah. me put it like that. Yes. It's not placed on the right spot. Yeah. Um, do you yeah, know what so, I think it is? Do you know, yeah. do you know like, um, in ice skating and all these, like, events, yeah. what will happen is, right, there'll be these, like, you know, like, a they'll do, like, a run, and there'll mm-hmm. be these great moves in a run, right? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, as long as no one falls, no one stumbles, it's a perfect, like, you know, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, you know what I mean? Right. But then every now and then you get like this one guy who like stumbles and falls, but mm-hmm. he does a move that's so flippant incredible that it ends up giving him a high score anyway. You know what right. I mean? Right. And I feel like some of these scenes are so incredible. It all I almost feel bad giving it a lower score. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's not perfect. I don't know. It's a tough one, man. 
Look, I think it's James Mangold's best Wolverine film. Definitely. Uh, and I think this is the best solo Wolverine film. Yeah. It's better than Origins and it's better oh, than oh, the oh, Logan. What 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 did I miss? Yeah, uh, no, no, no. We 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 have done we haven't done any other film. This is the we're one. Just that discussing we're... positioning, basically. Yeah. Sorry. I happened? think I think it's a top ten Marvel movie, but it's not a top ten ever movie. It's not even a top eighty right. ever movie. Right. So it's a you tough one. So? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I mean, again, well, seeing this movie. I was a big Wolverine fan growing up. I still am a Wolverine fan. Um, mm. I don't like it when he's with the X Men. I usually prefer it when he's solo, because mm. when he, whenever he's with the X Men, he's the worst version of himself in mm. the comic books. So I usually enjoy his solo stuff a lot more. This, this one, uh, okay. For one, it is a brilliant movie. I think it's a really good movie. Mm-hmm. I think um, it captures like a lot of, like a lot of downtrod. Like if you like depressed Logan, which he has a lot of that stuff in his comic books, this captures that pretty well. I think it's one of the best performances Hugh Jackman has ever given as Wolverine, or whatever. Um, I I like I like his dynamic with Daphne Keane and and all of that stuff. The villain in this is also pretty cool, as well. I mean, the the nerd in me, the comic book nerd in me, was annoyed that he had adamantium poisoning. That well, was I mean, a, they did explain it a little bit. Yeah, but it's just when you. But the thing is, yeah, it's just me cross cross referencing my comic book knowledge yeah. and the movie where I'm just like that. Don't that doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah. anyway, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But anyway, yeah. Um, had some pretty good fight scenes, uh, the like and some interesting stuff. Like um, when Professor Xavier is losing it after those military guys try to like break into the house and kill them, and like Wolverine has to like stab everybody in slow motion. Like as slow as that was, it was kind of interesting visually to watch. Um, yeah, I, I, okay. Dialogue also was pretty was pretty good in in this movie. I um, like I think. I'm definitely putting this above Scott Pilgrim. So, like, Scott Pilgrim made the list for 100. This, for me, would at least have to sit at... I mean, I'm never going to watch it again because it's depressing as hell. But um, this, one for me, would at least have to sit at, like, 70 or something like that. Right. 70, have, 75. Do you have a favorite moment? Favorite moment? Well, it's not a movie of favorite moments, but... <laughs> Um, what's, what's a, what's a good one? Mm. No, because the family gets murdered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, what's a, what's a favorite, what's a favorite? I guess when you get the last hurrah of Wolverine in the forest, mm. and you get to see the last time he actually Wolverines out, that, that's probably my favorite moment of this movie. All right. No, I hear you, man. Mm-hmm. All right.